New in version 1.5 of the Light Shark is the ability to add macros into the scheduler. This unlocks a lot of possibilities that were highly requested by a lot of you. Let's take a look at what they do, how they can work, and how they can help you. The first type of macro are the internal macros. The internal macros are here in the scheduler. So we'll go to our quick menu and into scheduler, we'll create a new event. And just like before, you name the event, you select the type, which can be empty or any of the playback numbers. And then you have an action section. This is new. In the action section, you can define any internal or OSC or UDP actions. So we press add, then inbuilt actions, playbacks, and you can see we have all of these different options that we never had before within the scheduler. In fact, one of the major ones that I know a lot of people asked for were the executors. Here, you're able to play executors or whole rows of executors all from the scheduler. You can also have buttons like clear and release as well as your main playback options and even your grandmaster. There's a lot in here. You can also do the OSC and UDP commands as well. First, we've got to set those up. Refer to our other video for the full guide, but I'll run through it quick. The OSC and UDP commands are in the menu under connectivity. There's a new tab called OSC in recent software versions, including 1.5. And then we set up a target and we choose a device. In this case, I'm going to choose MA Lighting. You'll set its IP address, which I won't do right now because I don't actually have one hooked up, and the port. Now, from our scheduler, we have the ability to get even more actions as we can send out OSC and UDP commands. Again, we want to add an action, and now we have both the inbuilt action and all of the MA3 actions. In other words, your scheduler inside the Light Shark is now significantly more powerful as an architectural and installation tool. Not only can it trigger inbuilt cues from playbacks 1 to 10, but it can trigger cues on the executors as well as a number of other actions inside the light shark. And then there's the entire realm of outside the light shark, being able to control any device that will take incoming OSC or UDP commands, all on your terms. I hope you enjoy using the light shark and this tutorial as well as this new feature helps you to make great events and great installations with the light shark. Mm -hmm.